Hey folks, Pastor Joe here. It's Tuesday. It's time for our video e-blast. I hope everything's going for you well today. We're in the middle of a spring break in the Houston, Texas area. And uh, it's hard to imagine just a couple of weeks back, we were uh, six inches of snow fighting a, a blizzard conditions here in Southeast Texas. But hey, these are unique days that we are living in. We are just a couple of weeks away, about three weeks away from Easter celebration. Remember, man, this is the greatest day in human history, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. It was on this week, about a couple of thousand years ago, when what was on the heart and the mind of Christ was making his way into Jerusalem to present himself as the as the offering upon the sacrifice of, uh, of the altar for our sins. And we celebrate that, that resurrection, especially that uh, the verification from God himself that Jesus Christ is Lord. So it is this great celebration day, and it is a day when every Christian, every child of God, ought to be in church and celebrating and rejoicing what God has done for us and showing such mercy for each and every one of us. We're putting on a very special... Uh, I don't know what to call it, uh, push, promotion at our church uh, for Easter, uh, especially in the context of the COVID-19 virus. Uh, many churches are expecting this is kind of the relaunch pad for uh, for getting back in church. A lot of folks who have been out have gotten vaccines and have seen the, the continual decline of the spread of the vaccine. So with all that good news that's going on out, a third vaccine now, a lot of people are making plans. In fact, we're already starting to see people come back into our services at, at higher numbers each and every week. Although this last week was spring break Sunday, it was down a little bit. But we put out cards like this. There, there are Easter invite cards. And the Easter invite card basically just says, Easter, knowing God, and the campus locations and the times of service at both campuses. We are having four services, two in the Magnolia campus, two at the Spring campus, They're taking place at the same times at the nine o'clock service at each location and a 1045 service at each location. But our staff, our leadership, we have prayed and have been praying for weeks before this. We've been meeting in strategic meetings about preparing for this particular Sunday, not because it's just a high attendance day, but because we want it to springboard, again, back from the COVID-19, but also into a, a discipleship movement. That it's not just one Sunday, it's not just to, to meet God, it's to know God. And so we'll be preaching about knowing God. Uh, the next Sunday, we launch a whole new lift study on the names of God and knowing God on a deeper level than you've known him before. The few Sundays I'll be preaching on knowing God in that whole process uh, in, in a different context of what the, the lift group study is. But everything we're doing is just about getting in on the journey, enjoying the whole relationship that you have, and making sure that for each and every one of us, it goes beyond just a relationship, that we're actually experiencing fellowship with God. And we'll be talking about how to do that on a greater level in these weeks to come. You don't want to miss what's going to start Easter Sunday, and it's going to carry us through the rest of the year. I believe it's going to be a, a launching for revival, for renewal, and uh, I'm expecting each and every one of you to join and get on board with us. Uh, we'll be putting Putting these cards out, you'll see one attached to the email. They just as a JPEG, as a picture. You can take that card and copy it and paste it into all your contacts. Uh, put post it on your Facebook page, your YouTube channel, your blog, whatever you do, whatever you have to communicate with friends and family. Be sure and take that card and post it there. Maybe make a note. Hey, join me this Sunday. But use this card to invite people because that's. But what it is, it's an Easter invite card. And it won't be any good after Easter because, you know, Easter's here and it's once a year. So uh, use this card, pick them up at the church, use the JPEG that I'm attaching to the email today and do everything you can possibly do because Jesus did everything he possibly could to save us from our sins. Let's show some love. Let's join together. Let's cooperate with each other, with our church, with our brothers and sisters in Christ. Most importantly, joining hands with the Holy Spirit and the Lord Jesus to reach as many people this Easter as completely possible. We're taking it very serious. And again, it is a launching plan. We're having a prayer meeting at both locations on Wednesday the 24th. So not this Wednesday, but the next Wednesday, we'll be meeting and having prayer services just geared to this day and these services and all the people that we're looking to contact. Every one of us has a sphere, so to say, a, an area of influence, people that we know, our, our friends, our, our relatives, our neighbors, our associates, people we do business with. Take cards, 
Make sure every one of them gets an invite card by mail, by email, or by person. Get some of these for your neighborhood. Take a few of them, just stick them on the doors and uh, in your local, in your community and let people know, hey, our church is doing something for the glory of God. Don't miss Easter. Amen. So look for that. There are things going on this week with our youth, with our children, both campuses for our spring break activities. So check out the webpage at bfchurch.com for that. Or our, or our Facebook page, bfchurch.tx, bfchurch.tx. Your pastor loves you. Believe in God. Let's get together. Let's do something that we'll never forget and we'll talk about for generations to come if we approach this Easter. God bless you. I love you. Looking forward to it.